hear some pop news, everybody. All right, so uh, our first story is what we teased. If you get pulled over for a speeding ticket, it certainly helps to be a supermodel, let's face it. Giselle Bunchen pulled over for going 70 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone, but a Massachusetts state trooper let her off with just a verbal warning. Now, the police- Wagged his finger. <laughs> Don't you Don't speed. you little minx. <laughs> you <laughs> supermodel. <laughs> you. The, the police did insist that she receive the same treatment as the four other drivers who were stopped under similar circumstances. <laughs> right. Sure. No, I'm just kidding. Of course that she was. But uh, her stunning good looks had nothing to do with any of it. So there were so. five speeding supermodels in the state of Massachusetts <laughs> yesterday. Really. What do you know? Uh, up next, you guys, big news from two iconic bands of the 80s. Uh, they both made big announcements. First, it's the end of the world as we know it for R.E.M. The group oh, Rolling wow. Stone. Yeah, it's a bummer. Rolling Stone hailed the band the best band in the U.S. back in 1987, while they are now breaking up after three decades together. 31 years. Yeah, 31 Incredible. years. Um, good news, though, for Guns N' Roses fans. The band is embarking on its first U.S. tour in five years. One small caveat, though, the only original member of the group involved in that tour is, that is Axl Rose. Mm. Yep. So, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And in ju just a couple of hours, tickets go on sale for a four-day exhibit in Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> featuring the best of movie star and jewelry connoisseur. Just keep going, just keep going. Keep going, keep going. Collection. What, do I, what am I supposed to do when there's like a, a, a hand puppet in the screen? Uh, so guys, the, the Elizabeth Taylor collection, yes. anyway, I know you're fascinated by this. It's important. Uh, if you buy That's a ticket, the okay. there you go. There's the big ring. $20 admission will go to the Elizabeth Taylor's AIDS AIDS ah. Foundation, and then the collection goes on the block at Christie's in December, and word is that David Beckham is eyeing a little push-out present for his wife Victoria following the birth of their Harper. Push Isn't it just present? a push? It's just a yeah, push, push present. present. Push-out's yeah. a little too graphic. <laughs> <perfect. laughs> I'm with them on this you one. Are? Sorry. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, we, we know I wasn't where it's sure. Going. I didn't, wasn't sure that, that y'all would understand. I wanted to make sure. So it's a present for the birth of their daughter. And uh, and the, the ring he has in mind is the, the famous Burton ring. Yep. We understand 33 carats. Uh, and finally, in this incredibly... Do I have lipstick on yeah, my teeth? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there was I, no, should I just get there up now? There was no easy way. <laughs> the whole time? It's gone now. No. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I do this last story? I, I'm like being hazed okay. on live TV. Happening in a galaxy near you. Comedians and movie stars using the force for good. George Lucas has lent the Star Wars brand to a new public service announcement for Stand Up to Cancer. Emma Stone, Zach Galifianakis, Andy Samberg among the stars recreating classic Star Wars scenes or at least their interpretations. Take a look. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. And I brought this. Hold on, I'm listening to something. <laughs> <laughs> nice pun, Zach. And Love you can Zach. check it out all online. It goes to he great cause. So that is a good cause.